Today we have a case of arthroscopic angle arthrodosis in an elderly patient whose skin condition is very bad. Let's go into the details. Today's patient is a 67 year old male. He is a chronic diabetic with neuropathy. He had history of angle fractures with osteomyelitis of the tibia and had multiple surgeries. Presented to our OPD with end stage arthritis of the angle joint and the, the, the skin condition was bad. This is the AP view of the angle and this is a lateral view. You can see that the joint is lost almost. Coming to the arthroscopic view, the whole joint is uh, severely fibrosed. You cannot see the joint line. And I am keeping the instrument close to the bone and clearing the area. All the fibrosis is removed slowly. So you use different instruments like the shaver, the debrider, the cutter, bone cutter and the burr. So now you can see that a small space is found in between the tibia and the talus and uh, going through the space again clearing all the fibrosis the scar tissue usually patiently doing all this move the joint and see whether you are in the right position so use the shaver for the soft tissue a bone cutter when you see the bone and the burr when you have to burr a uh, hard piece of bone so these instruments are constantly changed and they are continuously used so now you can see that uh, I got a uh, talus over here and I am clearing the soft tissues over the talus the fibrosis, the scar tissue, the cartilage everything should be removed slowly and steadily we are seeing the bone and you can see that the gap between the tibia and the talus is increasing now this is the uh, tibial side that I am removing the soft tissues in the tibial side is, uh, is being removed soft tissue along with the cartilage fibrous tissue the tunica is applied that is why we have uh, no bleeding or minimal bleeding otherwise this, is a, this will be a very bloody procedure And now you can see that uh, the joint is very well seen. You can move the angle joint and uh, appreciate the movement inside. Here you see the medial side. Then this is the lateral side. And this is the bar coming inside and uh, removing all the projections and all the soft tissues over the bone. This is in the medial side that is the bar is working. The burr is a very handy instrument in this case and it will help you a lot in reducing the time of the surgery. We don't remove all the bumps, we uh, want uh, some of it uh, to retain some of it so that uh, uh, while fusion that will help in engaging into the opposite side and uh, make fusion easy. But we don't want any of the soft tissues here inside. We need all the soft tissues to be removed. All the fluffy white soft tissues uh, inside the joint. Slowly and steadily we are uh, seeing the subchondral bone. This is the lateral side. You can s appreciate the fibula and the cartilage of the fibula and the lateral side of the talus clearing is being done there first with shaver then with a bone cutter and then with a burr now going to the posterior side I am coming from the posterior lateral portal going to the posterior side of the joint the same thing is repeated there initially use a shaver then a bone cutter the neighbor you want a clear bone to be visualized now i am in the tibial side 
removing the soft tissues from the tibial side in the posterior aspect. Since this is a chronic case with multiple surgeries, you have a lot to remove. You remove some of the tissue and you feel that uh, it is all removed, then again when you see there will be more tissues there. So keep on removing all the soft tissues. Again working in the posterior aspect with the bar on the tibial side. Shaver is being used and all the soft tissues are removed. The small small patches of soft tissues that are left behind after the burring. Again the bar is coming in now on the tibial side. Yes, now you can see that uh, the uh, soft tissues are almost removed and uh, there is a bleeding bone and uh, I am using the curette now to remove the soft tissue that is not coming uh, using a shaver. The curette can also be used, if you sh it should be a sharp curette and uh, for uh, getting some bleeding you have to drill some drill holes this is in the uh, tibial side that i am drilling multiple drill holes you can't get access 90 degree to the bone uh, it, you can go only in oblique manner but uh, whatever is possible you should do uh, some drilling in the tibia and also in the talus From all this uh, area, the fresh blood will come in and help in fusion of the joint. This is the talus being drilled. Multiple drill holes are being put in the talus. So this uh, again, uh, the tibia is being pushed out and uh, uh, drilling of the talus is being done. Removing the soft tissues again using a shaver after the drilling. So now you can see that uh, the chondropic is there and in areas where you cannot drill you can use the chondropic to induce bleeding both on the tibial side and the femoral side. All this is being done arthroscopically you don't have to open the joint if this in this case you have to open the joint it will be disaster for the patient because anyway it will go in for infection because the skin condition is very bad in this scenario arthroscopy helps you a lot in attaining fusion of the joint the chondropic is being used for putting multiple punctures in the tibia and in the talus. See the bleeding uh, is coming from the punctures that you have made. You can see that the bleeding is coming. That is a very good sign. After uh, using the chondropic, now uh, you should uh, cut the uh, stop the uh, irrigation and uh, do a dry scopy and uh, aspirate all the water from the joint yes the irrigation has been stopped and the water has been sucked and uh, now graft has been uh, prepared from the iliac crust and made into small pieces and it is being kept inside the joint this is done through the small arthroscopic hole there uh, i have made the incision a little bit bigger at the uh, instrument site portal and uh, through the scope uh, i am visualizing the filling of the gap with the bone grafts so the bone graft is being filled and after that we are uh, introducing the screws. This is the compression FT screws from Arthrex. So the screws are being put. You can either put two screws or three screws according to the scenario. 
here I have put three screws this is a CM image and uh, this is the post-operative image AP and the lateral views since the patient had more bone stock on the lateral side I used the screws more on the lateral side than the medial side and uh, this is a final x-ray uh, after three months uh, post-operatively the patient recovered very well and after uh, six weeks I put him on a air boot and he walked and after three months he was very comfortable and he was walking and after six months the patient is doing all the activities of daily living this is the photo of his angle the skin condition is better now and that's all for today and thank you